How's it going everyone? This is Family Jewel 7X and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play my arrangement of Sons of Skyrim with the Skyrim theme on guitar. Welcome to the fourth video in my 10 video series on uh, tutorials of songs that you guys have voted for and requested that I make tutorial videos for, along with tabs and uh, backing tracks so you guys can play along uh, with the arrangements that I make. Um, all from my first two years of uh, video game covers, uh, weekly video game covers. Um, you guys uh, voted this one way up there, and uh, not to my not to my surprise, I mean this is a pretty amazing song. I'm very excited to show you guys how to play this, but first things first, we gotta tune up. Um, so much to my dismay, uh, I had to remain in drop C uh, for this cover since uh, it would have been easier on the other songs to be in drop C uh, that are in the medley. Um, the reason the reason uh, this is inconvenient is because this song is actually in uh, B minor, um, so you can't get. I would rather have been in drop B, uh, but it didn't work out for the medley. So my arrangement is in drop C. Uh, you can always uh, you know rearrange it for uh, drop B so that you can hit that low chord. Uh, but uh, for now, we're in drop C. Uh, the notes are C, G, C, F, A, and D. Here they are. I left you anticipating that one. Um, so yeah. Let's just jump right into it. Now, one thing you're gonna realize is uh, if you uh, if you try to play all of these like exactly how it is in the tab, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, so definitely uh, embellish as much as you want. You add slides, add vibrato everywhere that you can. Um, you'll notice that uh, a lot of this I'm doing on like one string a lot, um, and I do that when um, I really uh, only usually when uh, there's just you know a, a few number of notes in the uh, phrase. Uh, it, it definitely has a different voice because if you you know this string sounds a lot different from that string. You know what I mean? They all sound different, uh, so it, it's just easier to mix and it sounds like one voice when you play it all in one string. So that's why I do it. You don't have to. You can uh, rearrange the fingering if you need to, um, but uh, you'll notice I do that a lot. Um, you'll notice that the main part of uh, the is all in one string too. It's just it's just kind of that same uh, you know idea. Um, also, uh, just, um, I'm not really going to show you the intro, just uh, check out how that looks. It's just, you're on your B, and you're kind of uh, doing this hammer-on, pull-off kind of deal, so. Uh, kind of stuff like that. Just watch out for there is one with two in the same measure, so it's a. Like that, just look out for that, and that should be no problem. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, let's get into it, uh, but just remember to always FUSERO DIE!
Just a quick note, remember all the notes that you're accenting are very important. Uh, make sure you're palm muting to uh, add emphasis to some notes. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, uh, to create dynamic with distortion unless you really staccato them. So be sure with all of your... Uh you watch where those notes are palm muted. Uh, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's pretty easy. I didn't even have to show you any slow stuff. It's, I mean, pretty simple. Um, just check the tabs if you're having any trouble. Uh, definitely open the guitar profile and slow it down. Or just ask me any, uh, you know, for any help, um, some of the stuff that I do. Uh, one thing that you will notice that I do a lot, and um, I'm actually sorry, it's really bad for uh, tutorials. Um, I do something called substitution, where um, I'll have a, I'll have a, like, a, a fingered fret. Um, and I'll actually substitute the finger for another to reach another note. Um, and the only, the only, all that is really is just practicing that, being able to kind of transfer the fret to another fret. Definitely helps if you're trying, if you find yourself in a, you know, in a tight spot and you want to sustain a note to the next one. Uh, I don't know, pretty cool technique. Now, one thing you do have to consider when uh, thinking about, you know, playing this, um, or if you're not going to play it to the uh, backing track, is the timing of it. Um, now, uh, I like to think of it as in uh, 100 beats per minute uh, in 3-4. Now, the problem with this is you're not getting all the emphasis notes using that. So let me get a metronome going so that I can hear. Um, so what 100 beats per minute in 3-4 is uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I think of it as... Um, Triplets. Triple, 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 You know, if if there's another timing that works for you better, um, then please use it. Uh, that's just the one that made the most sense to me. Just uh, watch. Um, as I said earlier. Uh, you know we're not in uh, we're not in drop B, so we can't get down to that low B uh, root chord. Um, all we get is you know this shitty uh, fucking minor second with the C, um, even though we're in right there. So uh, in the uh, the break part, um, there's uh, you know this really heavy da 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 da. da. The, the way to emphasize those is all about the palm mutes. Um, you'll see that what I do is um, I play the full chord. And then I will get all the way over to like as as far up like up on the bridge as I can to get a really really heavy palm mute on just the two strings to get you know the farther away from it the uh, the really the better and the clearer I mean you can get all up but you're starting to lose clarity so I like to get a That's all to watch out for. Also, um, watch. Uh, I'm going to show you the intro, and in the intro, what I'm doing is um, I'm using palm mutes to create the illusion of dynamics um, that we're crescendoing up to the uh, the main da 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 drop. Uh, or wait, no, no, it's no, it's totally like kind of building up to that. So think about that, um, and also uh, that's it. Here we go. Now the great thing about the bass in the song is uh, in standard we actually do have a B. We have that low B on uh, the five string bass um, and I use the fuck out of it. Um, so uh, the great thing about the fact that we're doing uh, those high power chords for that tonic B um, on the rhythm guitar uh, is now we have all this headroom to be able to hit this low B and for it to you know really flourish and you know fill that bass sound with just a big fat beefy B. Big fat beefy B. Um, so, uh, just watch how, um, uh, the, uh, the fretting differs in the intro, and then, um, how the notes differ, um, or, well, actually, I should just say the octaves differ, um, in the, uh, the main part. Uh, and then after that, I'll show you the break, which, um, really, uh, the best way to get these super, super heavy is to do a rest stroke. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called in bass, uh, but it is for classical guitar, 
when you hit a string and you hit it so hard that you rest on the string under it. You get a as opposed to a Don't do a whole lot of like pick up like that. You're not going to get a very heavy tone with that. Just fucking crush the note. And like when you uh when I hit this, I'll um I might do a like a thumb anchor, but um I really just like just smash the string down and like my finger hits the hits the uh, the body of the bass and if you if you have that full like follow through you'll get a very very rich very very full sound um, so uh, after this it's all done so uh, these are three you know kind of not even really out of the ordinary stuff but I just thought I'd show you um, so here we go. And that's all there is to Sons of Skyrim, really. I mean, it's it's a very easy song, uh, but it's very, very powerful, very, very catchy, and uh, very melodic, which, uh, you know, definitely make all those notes sing on the lead guitars, make all of those rhythm guitar, you know, crunches nice and big, and the bass just fill up everything that needs to be filled up. Um, so, yeah, check out the backing track in the uh, description with the tabs, and uh, I think I'm adding midis to all these, too, in case, you know, you want to throw it in a... Uh, you know, a software and see exactly, you know, all of the instruments. So, um, yeah, and uh, definitely uh, let me know if there's anything you guys need help with. I will do my best to help you guys out with learning these songs. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's nothing left to say. Have fun, guys. Yeah.